folks, today we are here at arguably the world's best Funko Pop store, Funko HQ. So we are gonna check it out today, see what new stuff they have, maybe some restocks, check out the entire store, and it should be a good time. So without any further ado, let's get started. Here we go. Here we go. Most important thing first, guys, we're gonna get some breakfast. The cool thing is the bakery right next to HQ, guys, they actually have some Funko Pops in their display. They're not for sale or anything, but I figured I'd show them off while I was getting breakfast and they have a little wet more forest character as well. Pretty cool. All right, folks, I am done eating my breakfast. So we're gonna wait in line right here in front of the store until they open. Excited to see what cool things we're gonna find. Later. Okay, folks, we're heading in. Let's see if we can find anything. Where do I go? Where do I go? I'm coming. I'm coming. Where do I go? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you guys. I think that's a good start, guys. What do you think? Good chase. Nice. All right, folks. Now that we walked around a little bit and we kind of checked out the store, we, we got a chase. I, I had a little bit of an assistance. As you guys could see, there was a chase that was hiding over there. Somebody kind of gave me the heads up. So that, that was pretty awesome that we got that. But now that we've got that out of the way, guys, we're gonna walk around and we're gonna see what other really cool stuff we can find. Obviously restocks, new stuff, other exclusives. Should be a good time. Okay, so starting off at the front of the store, guys, I think we're gonna start at probably Disney right here. There are a couple of really cool shirts that I wanna show you. I thought this shirt was really cool, guys, right here. We have Darkwing Duck, straight out of the 90s, guys. That's like <laughs> such a nostalgic shirt for me. I might, I might just have to buy that. Okay, just kidding, guys. They don't even have my size. They have small, mediums, and then like triple XL, so that's not happening. But starting things off at Disney, guys, they do have a couple of exclusives that I've seen before that I actually have in my collection. We have the Goofy and we also have the Donald, like black and white retro ones. Those are awesome to see. We do have the new Oswald and that does have a chase, but if it did have a chase, it's probably gone by now. But this is one that I'm actually thinking about picking up today because I do have those two up there and I think the Steamboat Mickey or Steamboat Willie, depends on how you want to put it, would go great with those two. Okay, folks, other side of this table, there's this exclusive that I don't think I've seen in person. I was thinking about buying it online, but it was a really weird price. We have the flick with the dandelion seed. Like I said, I've never seen that one before in person. I don't know why it's in such a big box. I wish it was in a smaller one and it would be cheaper, but hey, cool pop to see here. A couple other ones that I found interesting, guys. This looks like it might be a restock. This is the Roger Rabbit from last year's NYCC, so that's cool. Going through the rest of this Disney stuff, there are a couple of new exclusives that I don't think I've seen before. One of them being this Hades. It looks like he's with the chess pieces or the chess board, exclusive to Target. These are kind of interesting. They have the different uh, Funko exclusive stickers, guys, kind of with that gold and kind of foil look, so Anna and Elsa. And I don't have any BAMs next to me, so this is one that I don't think I've seen in person either. We have the Diamond Edition Tiana, but you got some Funko Puzzles, this really cool exclusive Pooh VHS cover. Looks like a restock of some of the original, well, somewhat original Winnie the Pooh Pops. And you also have this Professor Owl down here, which was also to NYCC last year. So coming around the corner from Disney, guys, we're going to see more of their new, like, exclusives and things, and also a bunch of sodas. You know, I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fans of these, but they do have some of the non numbered new DC sodas from Shazam and also some of the non-numbered Marvel ones from like What If and also Black Panther. Okay, one soda that I think I might pick up today, guys. I love Parks and Rec and they have the Andy Dwyer soda. So I, I'm thinking about picking that one up. But if you want to see a really cool display, guys, they have the Chase and the regular Demogorgon. That's kind of cool. I've never seen it displayed like that, at least for sodas, that is. They got some three liter sodas as well, as you can see, but that pretty much does it for all the different sodas. Here is a really cool exclusive. I might need to pick up one today. We have the Blacklight Bigfoot, one that I actually already own, but this might actually make a pretty good giveaway. So I'm thinking about picking another one up. Over on this side, it looks like they have a bunch of Funko Shop exclusives, guys. We got the Spider Punk, which is a cool one. I think, I don't know. I'm debating on picking that one up. It's a cool looking one, but a couple of other fun ones like the Blacklight Loki, the whole Disney Villains train set, and then some of the 100 year like facet looking Disney pops. Not bad. Folks, and then one pop that's over here. I want to see if it actually works. Okay, it actually does. So we have the lights and sound Optimus Prime. Thought I'd give it a little whirl and see if it actually worked, and it did. So one pop that I think I might pick up today, guys, is Julius Pringles. I know at one point, there was somewhere going around that this actually was limited to 10,000 pieces, 
I wonder if it just depends on the sticker that you get, but I might pick this one up. Up front right here, guys, they do have a couple of other new products. So you got like the Freddy Funko puzzle. You also have the new Star Wars, like 100 year Disney facet pops, which are awesome. And you also have the Mickey vault pop. Definitely one that I haven't really gotten into yet, but hey, it's a really cool display piece if you're into Mickey Mouse. All right, folks, we are gonna go into Gotham, check out what DC pops they have, and I think they have some movies and television ones as well. I know this one is newer right here, guys. We have the Blacklight Jimi Hendrix Gold, which that's probably one of the better gold figures that I've actually seen as far as from colors and a design standpoint. That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't know if I've ever seen this pop in person, guys, but you have the massive movie poster for Jurassic Park. Like, for scale, there's a normal pop. There's the movie poster. That thing's massive. So I did notice some of the new Indiana Jones pops. They only have Sala right here, and I think there's one that I'm missing. I can't remember which one. Actually, I think it's Marion, but they don't have it here. This seems to be the only Indiana Jones pop that they have. But back here in this corner, guys, I'm not really noticing anything different that I haven't really seen before. But hey, when you're back here, you definitely have to check out the awesome display pieces like Batman and the Batmobile, Killer Croc, and also the Joker. All right, folks, we are moving into anime and animation. Hopefully we can find something good. I know all the anime fans would be really mad if I didn't show any of this off. So looks like they do have a couple of different exclusives like from Attack on Titan and also that Funimation exclusive Zeke Jaeger. Over here, this is kind of more up my alley as far as animated shows like with Bob's Burgers and also The Simpsons. You got good old Johnny Bravo and Dexter, Cow and Chicken, Adventure Time, Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, this is, this is definitely my section right here. All right, I'll be completely honest. I had no idea that the Shadow restocked. That's kind of crazy, but we also have Silver from Sonic, but that was one that actually went up in price for a little bit there. Well, I guess it's restocked now. But folks, other side of this table looks like they've got some Care Bears, Gloomy Bear. I don't know if I've ever seen that one in person. That's a Toy Tokyo exclusive. And some other solid anime pops. You got like Buggy the Clown right there actually from One Piece. That's a Hot Topic exclusive normally, yeah. And then, I don't know, a bunch of other anime. I wish I knew more about it, sorry guys, but hey. At least I'm showing it off. Right here we do have a little bit of Scooby-Doo and also some Looney Tunes. I think this actually might be a restock as well. Scooby-Doo with the sandwich. Because yeah, if you look on the back right there, guys, it has some of the original Scooby-Doo monsters that they made. So yeah, this is definitely a restock. Okay, folks, I found something really cool. It's not a Funko Pop. It's a Funko Puzzle of SpongeBob. Dang, if my space wasn't limited traveling back home, I might actually buy that. That's a cool puzzle. For all you One Piece fans, don't worry, guys. There's a bunch of the new exclusive and things that have chases. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure a lot of people already found chases of these. And then just another general view of all the other anime stuff. And you also have some Avatar, which is cool. Ooh, Appa, which is an awesome one. I did watch a little bit of Avatar back in the day. That's probably one of my favorite Avatar pops. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for the anime section. Right here, guys, they do actually have some of the new Spider-Man pops from the new movie that's coming out across the Spider-Verse. They got Spider-Bite, Spider-Woman, Spider-Man India, but yeah, if you guys wanna take a look at some of their new Spider-Man stuff, there it is. All right, folks, now we are in the Marvel section. I bet we'll find some goodies here. Okay, here's one that I noticed that's a really big pop, guys. We have the Miss Minutes. That's the glow-in-the-dark version. I think from San Diego Comic-Con. I could be wrong about that, but yeah, that is one that I've never seen before. Kind of cool. But of course, we're going to see some Spider-Man pops that are in here. Like, I know that this one is a pretty popular one with the Hot Topic exclusive. That's the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. You also have the Daredevil uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive, or Matt Murdock, I should say that's catching the brick that's a cool one and some other great exclusives like the beyond the amazing collection that one has a bunch of exclusives that are with it but yeah guys i do love me some spider-man i found a couple of interesting ones over here guys we have a restock looks like of the avengers ultron age of ultron hulk and we have the upper deck exclusive iron spider and also the chalice collectibles exclusive iron spider and since these are normally Amazon exclusives, you never really see them in person unless you buy them. So we have the Civil War Build-A-Set with Hawkeye, Black Panther, and also Bucky Barnes. Okay, going through the rest of Marvel, guys, I did notice this Punisher pop, which is awesome. I think this is a restock as well. I know that it has a chase, and normally the chase is of him holding Daredevil's helmet. So if they had it, looks like they might have. There's five pops, usually there's six to a case. Somebody might have found it already. But one that I don't think I've seen before, guys, we have the fun exclusive Scarlet Witch that is glow in the dark. But I think that about does it for the Marvel section. Okay, right here in this section, guys, this is gonna be some of your sports. One that kind of sticks out to 
me that I don't even know if I've ever seen the sticker before. I don't know who that is. Paul Heyman from WWE, but that is an interesting GameStop. It used to be EB Games, I believe, sticker. That's kind of cool to see in person. Never seen that. Right here, guys, you're going to have some of your MLB pops and one I don't think I've ever seen before either, a cricket pop. Interesting. For all you Star Wars fans, there is, obviously, there's a big Star Wars display that is in this store, and it's going to have all of your Star Wars pops, obviously. Oh, that one's kind of cool. A Walmart exclusive Boba Fett comic. Not bad. You got the giant Darth Vader. Looks like they've got plenty of those. Oh, this one's kind of neat. They have the Anakin Skywalker Yoda Obi-Wan Kenobi Force Ghost 3 pack. I bet the glow on that's pretty good. Oh, and before I forget, should we test that out? Yeah, there you go. It actually works. That's cool. And you know what? One thing that I actually haven't shown off yet, guys, is the new Biddy Pops. We have the new Star Wars ones right here. So for any of you guys that are collecting those, looks like HQ has plenty of them. And I actually did see some of the other Biddy Pops. I think I saw Disney. Maybe another one. I can't remember. But also one thing, guys, when you're here at the HQ, you got to remember that you can build your own pop. So we have the kiosks right here that you can design everything, obviously whatever clothes you want to wear, anything like that. But yeah, if you want to design your own pop, this is the place to do it. And it's only 25 bucks. Not bad. I've done it twice already, so I'm not going to do it today. Oh, and before I go, guys, I got to show off the Harry Potter section real quick. Some of the ones that I don't think I've seen before, guys, you have the Hedwig Pop and Tea combo, and you also have the Hedwig with Letter exclusive. Oh, and speaking of Biddy Pops, guys, they have some Harry Potter Biddy Pops. Oh, and another really cool exclusive, guys, you have Harry Potter and Albus Dumbledore looking into the mirror. Never seen that one before, so I figured I'd show it. But folks, I think that's going to wrap it up for our trip to Funko HQ. We saw a lot of really cool stuff, and uh, I'm excited to kind of show you my overall haul. Okay, I got my bag of goodies, guys, but right now they are doing some construction on the front of Funko HQ. Usually, right here would be Wetmore Forest. It's kind of like their own little creative characters, basically. But right now they're doing a remodel. I wonder if they're putting in a new section right here. Because if you guys didn't know, Wetmore is the street that the HQ is located on. So that's why they kind of created this little space, but now they're redoing it. But Funko HQ, it's been real. It's been fun. Let me show you what I got, guys. All right, folks, we are back from the HQ. Let me show you my entire haul. So one of the main reasons why you go early to the HQ is you have the chance to get, you know, restocks of really cool exclusives and of chases. They always have things that are hiding throughout the store when you first walk in. And she pointed this out to me, guys. This is the AAA anime exclusive. Kakashi Hatake, and I probably said that wrong, but this is the glow in the dark chase. You guys know I'm not a big anime guy, but I, for the experience, I, I just wanted to pick up the chase. That's awesome. And that's the reason why we went early. Ended up picking up a black light Bigfoot. So I picked this one up for a future giveaway, guys. So be sure to follow me on Instagram so you know when I'm giving this away. But guys, this is a really cool pop. I love how the Sasquatch or the Bigfoot's, you know, fur is green. And he's also got the really cool marshmallow with, you know, the blue like hands and the face love it looks great you know i still do dabble in ad icons a little bit so i ended up picking up julius pringles i had no idea that his name was julius of, of all things but anyways this is a really fun one guys if you want to take a closer look at him he's got his awesome mustache and you know what he's actually holding a can of pringles i initially would have got this but i didn't really want to pay for shipping so anyways went in rum went at the hq and you want something but you don't want to pay for shipping Go ahead and pick it up. This is a really cool piece, guys. This is the Mickey in the Steamboat car. And this is gonna go along really great with you know my vintage Donald and vintage Goofy, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, kind of the go around with that set and everything like that. I also ended up getting two Paka Pacas for my wife. She loves the Daisy Duke dog. Paka Pacas. They had plenty of those, so I ended up picking up two for her, so hopefully she likes these. And funny enough, you guys know that I have a dog named Rudy. He's a wiener dog, and so, I don't know, this one's kind of a fun set for her to open up because she loves dogs, and obviously there's there's a wiener dog. That's part of this set, too. And with all the stuff that I purchased, they gave me a free soda as well. I got the Shuri soda from, what is this, New York Comic Con 2022. And if we're being honest, I'm not entirely sure what the chase of this is. I wanna say it's glow in the dark. And from what I can tell, I think this is probably just the common. Yep, definitely is. So there is Shuri, and then this is what she is limited to, at least for just the common. All right, Andy Dwyer, we're hoping for a chase. I think the chase is him dressed as Burt Macklin, so he's got like sunglasses on. And it looks like, Nope, looks like we just got the common. But there you go, there's good old Chris Pratt, good old Andy Dwyer. Like I said, we just got the common. 
but hey, I'd never seen that soda in person, so I figured I'd pick it up. Folks, just like that, that's gonna do it for our visit to HQ this time. We bought a lot of really cool things, guys. Be on the lookout for a video that I have coming out in a couple of days of me picking up some other stuff for some really awesome stores in Seattle. I think you'll enjoy that video as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another, and always promote positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. Whew.